Hey, it's Alan. Welcome back. Okie dokie artichoke. We got a database. We got a project. Now we got to link them up. So we'll do that in Visual Studio again and open up our project. And um, let's see now. We have to actually do this in a few places. So let's start by going to uh, SQL Server Object Explorer, maybe. Um, I'll open up over here, and I see I have a connection to my uh, local SQL Express. That's probably this one here with my, yep, there's my database, my Blazor Dapp for CRUD DB. Right-click that database name, choose Properties. And then in the Properties sheet, you should see the connection string property somewhere in there. Click in there, you know, press Control A, Control C to copy it. Go back to Solution Explorer and open appsettings.json, which is your settings for your application. We need to add a connection string setting, so put a comma at the end of the align allowed hosts thing, and then in quotation marks, type connection strings plural, which is the name of this section. Put in a colon and a pair of curly braces. And then inside the curly braces, we'll define one connection string. Put the name in quotation marks. I'm going to use the name SQL DB context, just because it's kind of common. But you can name yours whatever you like. Um, just don't forget the name, because you have to use that name later. All right, then a colon, a pair of quotes. Paste that connection string right in between the quotation marks. And that should do it for that part of it. Go ahead and save that file, and then you can close it. Now, next up, we can create a little class um, that makes it easy to uh, make that connection, call that connection string out of app settings. And that will go in the data folder. As you'll see, most of the data stuff we do will be in the data folder, hence the name. Go ahead and right click the data folder and choose add class and you can name it SQL Connection Configuration and then click Add. Basically this class just returns the um, connection string out of the uh, appsettings.json file. So inside there the uh, syntax is going to be public and then uh, that same name again SQL Connection Configuration and then whoops, space um, parentheses and we have to say um, string value equal I oh know lambda and then value equal value and a semicolon and then um, public string um, value get all right, because we're just going to be getting the string out of here. We're not going to set anything. And I got something wrong up here. Um, public string va Oops. Um, I think code correction uncorrected to me. Didn't I have that uppercase before? Value, value. That's it right there. You do have to watch your case in uh, C sharp. You know, upper, uppercase, lowercase letters are... Always an issue, but that should do it for that. So save that, close it. But you're not done yet. Startup.cs is your configuration for your startup. We need to tell it about um, the SQL Server database we have out there. And there's a configure services section here. Get inside those curly braces. And uh, well, we'll start with a simple comment. Just a reminder of what this code's doing in here. And then we will create a variable named um, SQL Connection Configuration again. And that'll be a new SQL Connection. Um, why am I, what am I missing here? Connect. Um, oh, yeah. I took that line out. Uh, I have to say using... Blazor Dapper CRUD, which is the name of our project, the folder containing all our code, dot data, which is the data subfolder, and that tells it to look for names in that namespace. 
which is displayed as a subfolder in uh, Solution Explorer. And now when I start typing SQL connection configuration, it can help because it recognizes that name. And then we need parens and inside we'll say configuration dot get config or get connection string and then open paren close paren quotation marks and then that name you gave the string in app settings.json, which I believe here was SQL DB context. And I'll just copy paste it in there so I don't spell it wrong and end up spending five hours trying to figure out there's one uppercase lowercase letter difference. All right, and then a semicolon at the end of that line. Press enter and on the next line we can set it up as a service using services dot add singleton open paren closing paren and inside there put uh, SQL connection configuration no quotation marks just you're referring to that var above and while we're in the neighborhood um, you can put in a optional switch that helps with debugging if you don't do it now it might ask you later so I just usually throw it in there you can remove it at any time it's just uh, services dot add server side blazer and then um, in parentheses say O or options uh, a low, that's a lowercase O not a zero O lambda and then we'll just say O dot detailed errors equal true and that just ensures that when you're writing the code and testing and debugging you get a little better uh, a little more detailed error messages about what's going on and that should do the trick okay so that's it for startup.cs you can close and save that anything else you might have open uh, app settings have that open all right and then you can do build build solution and see if you get any errors down there cross our fingers build one succeeded that's good take the next level we'll run it see if it makes it into the browser and it did okay so nothing blew up that's all we had to show for our work so far but nothing blew up so we're good to go let's head over to the next lesson and continue learning blazer dapper crud